I was still a very selfish, self-centered um, person that um, just wanted to work and earn a lot of money. Had school under my belt and my marriage was back on the mend and so I was set to, you know, pursue my American dream again, finally. <laughs> and, um, but God had a different idea, um, you know, what I should be pursuing. And uh, we ended up at Grace City Church. Um, and uh, the whole process of gospel community started in our life. My initial thought uh, when I first heard of gospel community, uh, I thought, man, this is, it's kind of interesting, and uh, it was almost like I couldn't digest it at the moment. You know, like, I'm not doing that. I remember being very encouraged and excited for some reason, but really angry at the same time. And uh, I remember very clearly walking down the street with a really good friend that I used to go on walks with all the time and just expressing how frustrated I felt inside that, that what our church was asking us to do was going to take me away from everything I held dear, like pursued and dreamed of and wanted in life. And and uh, I, I literally was mad about it. And I look back on that and I think, oh my gosh, I was so selfish. How could I say something like that? But it was just the truth. And I was just sharing my heart with her and sharing, saying, you know, I, I truly do want to change. I want to feel good about this and I want to 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 do life on life and, and at the time not even understanding what those words really meant you know what what was that concept what I mean because like I said in the beginning it was like it was kind of exciting and sounded good and and something like my heart desired inside and but yet at the same time my flesh was like are you kidding couldn't even digest the thought of uh, opening up my life at that point in time and, you know, uh, spending it with other people and just thought, no, I just, I can't, I can't do this. God was working in my heart, really working on me and my selfish problems. And um, we got invited to attend a gospel community group. As the Lord opened my mind, uh, to the possibility of, of what could actually occur and what he wanted to do um, and changed my heart. And, uh, and I started going. It wasn't weird at all. It was simply um, a bunch of people living life together normally um, for the sake of loving Jesus. It was starting to make me see things differently that every person um, in this world God loves and is pursuing in some way. And we started to think, you know, maybe it's time for us to try doing gospel communities on our own. We launched into our own GC. So that's how that started. <laughs> We have uh, six families that are coming uh, currently to our gospel community. I'm thankful for the Lord because uh, I wouldn't want any other, my life to be any other way now. Um, I can't imagine uh, living life uh, without these people. It's taken my American dream and set it down and it's not important but what is important is the people that are part of our gospel community um, and their lives their prayer requests their struggles and um, it's brought it into focus for everyday life for me so really it's allowed me to break free of my own selfishness Jesus has loved us, and uh, he's given us a gift that is uh, beyond comprehension, that changes us, and because of that, um, we love one another. And we're all working together for a singular purpose, um, for people who don't know Jesus to be saved. I get to participate um, in what God is doing in other people's lives. They get to participate in what's 
uh, God is doing in other people's lives. And there's nothing better than that.